the bar, off the bar, off the bar, off the bar. I'm too persistent. With income and no cash. Get it on my own, no collab. But for bar with me, that's a body bag. Yo, people, from what we're telling them, it's your boy, man, line jazz back again with another reaction. But right now, we got Skepta speaks on retiring from music, producing an album for Rihanna, plus more Tiffany Calvin. Now, BBC Radio, we're next. I don't know if you man are going to block this. Hopefully, you don't, fam. Because this is one of my guts right here, blood. You know what I'm saying? Skepta rate very, 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 very highly, fam. You know what I'm saying, blood? One of my favourites, fam. Of all time, blood. Never mind just UK, just UK, UK OGs and highly, fam. Let's get into this. Next show. Tiffany Calvert, it's The Rap Show. I am looking at about 20 people because I'm in a casino for the... <gasps> Oh, so this was at the album launch party because he had an album launch party. Alhan Blood, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Alhan fam. You know what I'm saying? But shout out Alhan. Dropped a little link and that fam. I was in there, blood. These men were in tuxedos, blood. Having a pretty much a grime set in tuxedos and that, blood. I was like, yo, this is cool. The culture goes wherever we go, fam. This is cold. So, yeah, my The thing. first time in my life, actually. And the only person that could make that happen is man like Skepta. Yeah, all in. The EP <laughs> is probably out now. It is out now. It's yeah, Saturday. it's out now. It's Saturday it's out night. Now. <laughs> I just came up with the name All In one day. We were playing. We, we we was having like poker nights like through the lockdown. Yeah, I remember one time I was just went all in, and I remember when I shouted it out, and somebody in the room said, "Yo, that's like that's the name of the that's the name of the uh, EP." And I said, "All right, cool." So you know, as it goes, one thing leads to another, and now we're here in the Hippodrome, very legendary mm, mm, mm. casino in London, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a long legendary night one i don't think we've ever actually got the opportunity to sit down since i've had my show mm -hmm. you did something for me in lockdown thank you by the way super mm -hmm. last minute but we've never got to chat and i remember coming back to the studio after you took me to nigeria for the first time on the the homecoming trip yeah. and i'm i'm nigerian also and that was the first time i'd ever actually been to africa and it was so important to me at the time because my granddad was so proud that I was finally going back yeah. mm. and he was kind of on his last legs with, with cancer mm. and I was actually with you when he passed away and I remember telling you and you gave me some really really great words mm -hmm. of wisdom but there's so much you don't see about what's going on in Africa and like this whole new Ge like generation of artists that are coming out and are just doing their thing whether it's in fashion or music or whatever and I feel like you're so great at showcasing that and highlighting mm. that and opening everyone's eyes to it yeah why is that important to you yeah I just obviously I'm I'm like I'm in London I'm, as a Nigerian and you, you know as you grow like you go through some points where you you you're, you're having some sort of like I don't know. It's not. It's not a crisis. I won't say it's a crisis, but he's like with your identity, it's kind of. R.I.P. to Grandpops as well, fam. You know what I'm saying? But R.I.P. to Grandpops. But let's just get that in, fam. I don't know. It's not. It's not a crisis. I won't say it's a crisis, but he's like with your identity, it's kind of hard to like be like a Nigerian, but then in a place where you're like. Fucks, fucks, fucks. You're deemed as a British person. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, so, yeah. Like facts. going home a lot and understanding that there was so many voices that weren't amplified Being or they heard. weren't even heard yeah. let alone amplified you know what I mean it was like I just wanted to do everything I could you know I always say it hence hence like like me and me and Drake's first like how do, how do I say like our, our meeting like musically was with Wizkid yeah. on the Wizkid record and that was important that was more important mm. to me than asking Drake to jump on a song of mine you know what I'm saying or that's what I'm saying though because uh, knowing certain artists bring certain links together from and as you said not even just on a music thing just on a personal level because there's so many dope people out here blood, artists musical people actors and all that that you might not even know of from, or just people's personalities that you might not know because all you do is just see their craft from and the end products when they're doing certain things and you don't really see the behind the scenes blood you know what i mean because there's certain men out here who have the favorite artists but we'll never get to sit down with them and have a chance to chat to them or just go to a dinner with them you know what i mean have a night with them or whatever have a moment with them blood you get me fam so yeah man it's dope to see these type of little interviews and that blood i can't lie to you i can't lie to you but um some of them it can amplify your love for an artist blood it can give you some introspect some insight into a person it can also ruin them blood i find that with actors fam because when i like a certain actor i don't like to watch like their interviews and that because 
especially if it's like a series or whatever like i'm just engaged and i know that character so to see you have a completely different accent and a completely different you know it's expected and obviously you know that fan but just to see it blood to see that oh you're, you're not actually that person even though you know you're not that person to actually just see it coming to fruition but sometimes it messes with my head sometimes not gonna lie like, i just want to keep you as that character you know what i'm saying i know you're michael but i want to keep you as billy fam you know what i mean but you know yeah yeah, yeah. And whiskey record and that was important that was more important to me than asking drake to jump on a song of mine you know what i'm saying or trying to make some song for myself it was more like okay you know i want because them times there like i just thought and always knew that whiskey is a superstar like, when yeah. i used to see him i just like he's a superstar and i just wanted everything for nigeria and um yeah man tz bodge is on dave's album yes he is yeah um just the whole of that, the Ote crew, like in general, as in whatever they're doing, yeah. like the Motherland kids, like I really support them, whatever they yeah. want to do. So yeah, it's good to have TZ. On. I know TZ still can't believe he's on this record. Like yeah. he's like, yo, like Skep, <laughs> what did I, what did I walk into? Like mm. on the subject of of African artists and bringing everything back to Africa, mm. I also want to know what your perception or your perspective is on just this major shift because I, I remember being in school. And I, I'm sure you remember, like, back back in the day, mm -hmm. we all have that story of, you know, we'd probably, like, everyone would be Jamaican. Do you yeah, know what I mean? No yeah, one actually yeah. wanted to say they were African. Yeah. And now to see... Which I don't get, to be honest, but I guess I, maybe I was born into a generation when people accepted it from... But accept who you are, fam. You know what I'm saying? But even when I was trying to find a job back in the day and that, fam, and I wasn't getting it, it took me like a year and that before I found a job. People telling me change your name. I'm like, F that, fam. I'm not on that, fam. When people say, oh, my European name is Michael, but my uh, uh, my traditional name is some, you know what I mean? It's just a, a word in the mother tongue or whatever, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like destiny in Yoruba or something, blood. You know what I mean? So I'm like, come on now, fam. Just claim who you are, fam. Be proud of that what's going on over there and the superstars that are coming from there, but not just that, the diaspora over here of people like Head. I haven't heard the word diaspora Dave, in a long you time. Know, Huss. Huss, Pa, yeah. Yeah. Back Row G, like so many, and they really flocked. And Shout out to Backroad and Pasali as well, fam. I said Backroad, shout out to Pasali when she hosts from there. My Gambia Umbrellas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. And let me know what culture them man are from, because I'm a man Dinka fam. j Host looks like his jawla, no cut blood. Yeah, he looks like he's a jawla man fam. And I don't know about Pasali though fam. You know what I'm saying, blood? The way he be saying chop and damn so much blood, he might just he just might be wall off blood. You know what I mean, blood? Because yeah, he be saying that way too much fam. But yeah, let's get into it. Though. SG like they really fly mm. that flag so proudly. <laughs> yeah. Hey. How does how does that feel? I'm just happy My to be a part of it, man. Like I'm happy. Like, I remember when I was going on. Grime and saying my full name in my bars, like yeah. mm. saying like I was the African hottie and all this stuff. Like I, I remember I was doing it, and I, I, obviously I was probably the only one on radio that was doing it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Apart from a few in Rough Squad, maybe here and there, but I was proper pushing that I was like a Nigerian big lips African hooter. Like <laughs> I was going crazy. Like yeah. so to see like you know everything was happening now. I'm just happy that I was a part of it, and I'm, Bandit, and I'm Bandit. happy Bandit. for them. I feel like we're in an era now, like when you're. So I'm saying, you see the introspect you're getting from. That's why I rate this guy so much. From come on, big sca scappy, big smoke. Young, you can be proudly African, like, and it's wavy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's like not just oh, I'm just doing it as a fight. I'm doing it, and it's wet. oh, hey, look at me, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm happy for I'm happy for all the like the new generation being able to just be themselves, man, and. Bring that African flavor, man. No, turn off your phone, man. Like, do you not hear people talking? Turn off your phone, man. That's rude, man. It's needed in music, man. You exactly. get it? Whether it's dances, sounds, guitar, like riffs, whatever it is, man. African flavors, like the basses, yeah, it's flex, big flex. You mentioned how you just to trust you in music. Mm. And I think anyone that's been a fan of you or knows your catalog, kind of has mm. because you've managed to always succeed at whatever kind of layer you're in within yourself and i think you've been no, wait a minute but you know what i realize fam is i'm probably um blocking these man's thing fam i can't lie to you fam <clears throat> i'm not gonna see the end result blood but hopefully i position myself right in the middle of them fam you know what i'm saying blood no, i can't lie yeah you know what i'm saying yeah 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 you get me black probably the most successful artist at mm. always managing to 
shift and change whatever suits you. I'm looking at like the wrong person. Yeah. Ah. Experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step out my comfort zone. Do some stuff that might that might not be good. To yeah. Someone, but I know it's like it's it's good for music. Yeah. You know. So what um, would we say this era is of Skepta? Um. Uh, right now, this era of Skepta is. I just feel like it's crazy yeah, that we have like a culture. Sorry, I just. Uh, I was just about to look in a certain place, fam, but yeah, I caught myself, fam. You know what I'm saying? Blood. It would have been funny, but you know, it would have been rude at the same time, fam. You know what I'm saying? Blood. I had to catch myself right there, fam. I let you man use your imagination. Sure, if you if I say saying? to my friend, oh, yeah, you know, I want to diversify. <laughs> no, I said they want to talk about it, but if I want to do a, 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 a rum with Havana, I want to do a Nike shoe, mm. and then I want to have a cigar brand, or I want to do this or that. People say, oh, yeah. Not no, going to lie, if Skeppy actually made some cigars, blood, I think I'd, uh, I'd have my first like try of like, cigar. I know I can't blood. Like, he's literally called Big Smoke. I'm sure there'll be, you know what I mean? Exactly. What Skeppy's doing, he's doing the Jay-Z thing. <clears throat> right. It's just annoying that we only have Jay-Z for, for people who are doing what, like, creative... Big entrepreneurs. Whatever. Yeah. If they want to branch out and do different things and become a business, everyone mm -hmm. says the Jay-Z thing. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So... It was it was just a, it was just a thought in my head where I was like I just want to do more than just being like a rapper because that's that, that's a waste of a talent. You know? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like right now I want to become like more behind the production. I want to produce albums for people. I'd love to produce Rihanna's album. Like that would be a dream. Like, yeah. I'd probably I'd probably make Rihanna's hardest album. Yeah. Yeah. Um, produce more and. You know, help people. You need to bring Rihanna back, man. She's been taking time. I'd make a fire. I'll, I'll put like I'd produce Rihanna's most hardest album. Yeah. I know I could do it as well, like, cause I, I just I just know music and I know mm. like the beats and the bass and the sonics like so well. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I feel like now I just want to branch out. Okay. I can't be a rapper. It's a waste of a talent. Yeah. You know? I feel like rapping for artists is some sort of therapy they go somewhere and they tell someone to record them and they mm -hmm. say their pain and the song the fans say oh yeah we relate man we, we relate to you like we like what you're saying and they still like oh yeah you're not alone yeah but after a while it's like nah, it's, a, it's a boy it's a goes both ways though realistically it goes both ways from you know saying the artist helps the fans the fans help the artist realistically everything from <clears> being <throat> confused african child to be an chief in my dad's village it's yes. like my, i've wrapped myself to mm -hmm. my to my nirvana do you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i've wrapped myself into it somehow so it's like now i want to help other people see that why you hear someone just had bomb bark like you know <laughs> saying i've wrapped myself into it somehow so it's like now i want to help other people see theirs and like get to a certain point where their rapping was never a waste of life kind of thing. yeah 100 mm -hmm. yeah I feel like this is the perfect time for us to talk about your Rolls Royce. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you remember, do you remember the bus? <laughs> What did I say? Oh, yeah, 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 Well, congratulations. Thank you. Do you know you. what? I Mr. never knew the process was that mad. Yeah, it's a lot. What? So they do, like, history, like, check, you could not, it's like a barking of cars. Yeah, no, it's serious. Like, you, they have to want you to have a Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, you know, it was, I, 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 I got it. I still got the riff, but yeah. I need to, like, oh, this guy, you, I don't think you understand how gone this guy is. Like, he's gone. Like, he's gone. Bruv. God, bruv. You can't see. He's in the stratosphere. Like, you can't see him no more, blood. You can't see. He's gone, bro. Just, oh, my babe. He's more than music, fam. That's why I rate him so much, blood, on so many different levels, fam. He's just gone, man. Just drive around. He's I'm gone. like, okay. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> yeah. But I always wanted, like, um,. I always wanted that car that I get chauffeured in, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's between that and the colour and but like the fact that it made more sense. Right now I was I was I parked it up now, but I was whipping it for like a week because <laughs> yeah. I just need to get the hood. Like you got I I came you from, blasted I music came from in it. like mad whips, you get it. So Yeah, you gotta be playing the greasiest music I'm as playing, loud as possible I'm in there. I'm playing as well. everything in there. Yeah. I'm playing everything in there. Like I'm window down, I'm driving past people, they're looking at me. I, I was bare chest the other day. <laughs> You know, it was hot. Mm -hmm. you know, that hot day. I'm bare yeah. chest in a phantom. I'm driving, man, and shorts. People are looking like, did he, this guy steal this? Did this guy <laughs> steal the car? Like, they just, <laughs> we have the cool feds car. This guy is looking mental in that. Yeah. But I just had to get that hood feeling of it out. But 
I'm, I'm, I'm cool now, man. I'm gonna get a private plate and get a driver. But yeah. And just whip the wraith. But yeah, man. It's a moment, boy. I feel like this is what you deserve also. Thank you. Do you know Thank what I'm you. saying? No, it was a moment. When you think about your career, there are so many accolades you've hit that didn't even seem achievable mm. to so many people. And you have outlived so many people in this music space, which mm. can be so tough. You've got every award pretty much ever. Mm -hmm. You're a chief mm. back home. Yeah. It's almost like you just keep punching that ceiling. So yeah. with all of that and with all in, is this really the last we're going to hear of Skepta? No, never. How? Yes. That there don't we make go. no sense. Put those rumours to I was bed. saying that this is that was I'm not recording. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I'm not recording. I don't want to do that. Like I need to. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm chasing my tail. And obviously, yeah. and as I said before, I want people to enjoy the music out in public. Like, yeah. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be releasing music and people are in the house. Yeah, I was yeah, even inspired yeah, I to record. You. Yeah. Because I wasn't like. I ain't gonna write a COVID song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna write a lockdown song. So. Yeah. Um. I feel you though. I mean, people were using. You can see that the skeptic, the JMEs of the music scene, fam. You get me? This the, the music is the most important thing, fam. At the end of the day, no matter how they're doing it, bro. Obviously, as a fan of a skeptic of a JME, fam, you'd want them to release music twenty four seven. But just to see them, blood, and the introspective of how they're involved in the music things in so many different aspects, with with him with the production thing, being behind the scenes and that, fam. You don't really see that as much with certain artists that can do both sides. Being able to do both sides is brazy, by the way, fam. Like only a very few people can do that fam jamie is jamie as well with a beat production when he be going on twitch blood chilling with the people from it yeah man it's beautiful to see man beautiful to see blood i might not keep saying introspective introspective so much fam uh you know what i'm saying like that's never in my vocab but i literally keep saying it just for this video i don't know why blood you know what i'm saying we shut down to be fair <clears throat> i know that was weird but in my, in my own crazy way i was i was trying to not acknowledge what was happening yeah you know what i mean mm. i just kind of like because i'm not i've got my own thoughts about what's going on mm -hmm. i don't want to acknowledge it in my music to like to stamp it and make it something so yeah yeah man i was uh yeah i just ain't rec i ain't recording and i'm not going to record for a while yeah you know i think i'm happy i'm happy this is out yeah this is like all all my music yeah like all the all the pieces everyone's giving it i'm all in mm -hmm. so um now I definitely want to try and do something film wise okay like in a movie or somehow and yeah. um i really want to produce at least three other albums for other artists before i even think about spitting them okay i want to produce someone's whole album like from yeah. beginning to end like um that's what i really want to do now sick yeah well thank you so much that was the All In EP listening party. Thank you to everyone that's standing around right now in this casino watching us. Yeah. Peace. One extra. If you enjoyed this, Greens, anyway, I'm out, blood. As you were man line jazz, you acting to man like skeptic, blood. Speak on certain things, so I'm gone, man. I'm gone. In the biz, in the biz. Bath the bath the bath the bath the bath. I'm too persistent. With in comment, no cash. Get it on my own, no collab. But for bar with me, that's a body bag. Your man's want smoke, then he leaves with a toe tag. Whole squad hit with a double mag glock. Got left in the street, and the body's getting chucked. Bullets with names, and your shit's getting popped. Better be with me, and the bag's getting cocked. Still gotta chase the bag, humble. Ain't got a brag in a league on my own And my stats getting flagged Hit me for the feet Got verses in stats Come through like the queen Gotta pay that tax Pay me, I'm so